Hello, I'm David Kleinfeld. I'm a professor at UCSD in physics and in neurobiology. Hi, I'm Jasmine Hornbuckle. I'm the sponsored research manager for the Department of Physics. We are um, interested in nervous systems. We're interested in what nature's rules are uh, that um, designs nervous systems, mostly mammals and how we explore the world. My name is Chris Benner. I'm uh, assistant professor in the Department of Medicine, and I study uh, bioinformatics and genomics research. Neil Dutcher, I'm a fund manager in the Department of Medicine. Um, I'm a fund manager for Chris Benner. One of, the, one of the areas of research that my lab is focused on is understanding how um, our body, how our bodies respond to uh, infection from the influenza virus. And we use a lot of very advanced uh, next generation sequencing technologies to um, understand how, uh, how the virus enters the cell, how the cell responds, and ultimately how, uh, how our body clears the virus from uh, during an infection. I'm Adrian Borsa. I'm an assistant professor here at Scripps, actually at the Institute of Geophysics and Planetary Physics. Uh, I've been here at UCSD for five years most recently. Uh, actually graduated got my PhD, I can't even say how many years ago. I'm Christine Kulabali. I work here at IGP, and I've been at the university for about 26 plus years now and actually four years down here at SIO. So what I do is actually, technically it's geophysics. Uh, I work in a particular branch of geophysics which has to do with the changing shape of Earth under all different kinds of uh, phenomena, including earthquakes, um, actually changes in, in uh, water storage on the planet. When we have a drought, that actually shows up as um, deformation of Earth's surface, and I track that. I'm Yen Espiritu. I'm in the Ethnic Studies Department, and I'm a distinguished professor. Yvette Alvarez Obando, I'm a Center for Ethnic Studies and Critical Gender Studies. Um, so I work in the areas of immigration and refugee studies and focusing primarily on Asian American immigrants. Uh, my current project, though, look at um, what I uh, term critical refugee studies. And uh, recently, I received a grant, a big grant from UCOP, um, to work on refugee issues in California. And we're partnering with um, several other UC campuses, Irvine, Riverside, um, UCLA, uh, Berkeley, Merced, um, to think about how to um, not only think about issues of integration of refugees into the state, but also um, you know, about refugee um, knowledge, refugee epistemologies, um, not focusing on them as a problem, but really as a source of knowledge. I think it's probably the one research that I can relate to. I have a history or uh, education in medicine and biology. That's where I first started. So I think it's probably the most relatable for me. But I think, um, obviously, his uh, excitement is contagious, as you can see. He's really, it's very infectious. And he's very open about his research. Sounds like um, a disease. It's... <laughs> well... They're not all bad. Not it's all the basis bad. of no. evolution as well. No, so. but it's, I, I mean, we all find it very interesting in the office. He's one of the few professors that shares his research. And I'm not so sure if all everyone is aware that that is actually exciting for us to be a part of that research, to know what we're a part of. We love to hear what we're actually um, contributing to. So. Uh, it's cutting edge genomic research. It's uh, really interesting to see how like a wet lab does their stuff and then it becomes like software to use to analyze more genomic data. Like it's cutting edge, it's really spectacular to read about. He's working with all, most of the, a lot of the colleagues here that are either working with seismologists or either someone that's working with the rocks or, and it all has this combination of everything with tsunamis, with earthquakes, with volcanoes, and they all work together to kind of be able to find out what's going on with the earth. I, I love working with Yaren because I think she shows so much passion. Like, it really comes from her heart. Also, it's in today's political climate, it's very relevant, and it really makes me feel like we are contributing. We have to write lots of grants, and uh, there's deadlines, and sometimes the agencies themselves are noodling with the instructions up to the last minute. So you need a, a good partner, 
right? That sort of keeps track of these things. A fund manager who's really on top of things can help a lot. And in my particular case, I'm a, a very new PI, so I've been on the job you know, just over a year. And so there's a lot for me to learn. Um, for me, I had so much to learn to have someone like Neil who can help uh, give me advice and uh, 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 fill in details for me that I haven't had a chance to appreciate or learn yet is incredibly valuable. I mean, it, it goes deeper than that, for example, to have someone that you can just uh, ask these questions of, um, you know, when it comes to how to manage funds, how to uh, right way to do the applications, uh, how do you really manage these budgets carefully because, you know, you usually have to, you know, spend a certain amount of money over a certain amount of time. What's the best way to manage all these details? It's very complicated. And as a starting professor, it's, you know, a lot of this goes way over my head because I'm also concentrating on getting the science together, um, you know, trying to think about personnel, trying to think about how the lab's set up. Uh, to, so to have someone that knows what they're doing and, and really be there for me, you know, have my back in terms of understanding all these details and helping me get applications out the door is invaluable. Chris's role in terms of going out and getting grant funding is, is pretty much touches on all parts of it. In a way, my, my job, my primary job is to lay out the things I, you know, what I would like to do, who I'd like to do it with, um, and some general idea of how much it might cost. But to get that to the, the granting, the funding agency requires so much work that we're not creating it as UCSD. That's coming from the funding agency. So I absolutely need somebody like Chris to, to, to tell me, no, Adrian, you can't do that, or yes, you can do this, or just guide me through the process. Um, and really, it's about guiding us through the process. This is like a team effort. Exactly. So I had applied for the grant with my colleagues from the other UC campuses prior to Yvette coming to work with us. Um, so I was in the, like in a panic mode. And then we just hired Yvette. So I, the whole very first week at, um, you know, with us was like, you know, working on the grant with me because we had like an impossible deadline. Um, the, the grant was, um, we were notified like in December and then right. we had to do something by January or something, some ridiculous deadline. Yvette was there and she was, you know, with her past experience working with big grants, she was like, oh, this is something I know how to do. Right. And so we were, um, so I think it was such a, you know, I was so thankful because she led me through the whole process. Um, including just like, I didn't even know there was a research office on campus right. <laughs> where you get the signatures, things like that, that the faculty never know. And um, so she, yeah, she came in and she, we, I, I can honestly say without her, I wouldn't, we wouldn't have been able to make that deadline. So thank you, Yvette. Oh. Jasmine's very efficient. She answers my questions in, 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 in simple language, That's rather cool. than like ask how much money is left in my grant and get a column with 25 numbers, half of them in red, half of them in blue, some in parenthesis, some with a line through them. I mean, you can figure this stuff out. But. It's a lot of time management. It's a lot of pushing. It's a lot of shoving in both ways. It's a lot of um, partnerships. I mean, we are partnering. I'm not even sure you're aware of how many people we end up working with all over the university just to push these grants through. I mean, lucky you. You don't have to work with me. I am lucky. <laughs> we have this, we have Every this morning I say this to myself. I wake up. <laughs> And I said, I am lucky because I work with Jasmine. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we actually have a really good team on campus, and we pull all the resources. That he's a new faculty member, and he's really open to learning about how this all works, and both sides of it. Like, he has to do a science part, but he also wants to learn how to do the administrative part, like learning all the regulations and the limits and how to make a budget work and last for the whole five years of the project or however long it is. Um, it's great. It's refreshing to see that the PI wants to take such an initiative into the whole aspect of his portfolio and his research. You know, one thing I did realize in the, in the course of, of applying for grants is that uh, there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of documents. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's a little, maybe this culture of like, you know, a PI kind of dumps a document on their fund manager and they have to make sure it's formatted correctly. Um, and uh, the, the text is the right size, et cetera, is, is a, you know, I kind of realized on my end that, you know, I want to make sure I know how to do that too. We, you know, being able to have a very free, open line of communication is very important, right? And so if you're able to sit down and talk and 
from my perspective, I'm kind of curious what he's doing. So, uh, you know, and I can try to identify the things he's doing that he doesn't need to do, right? I mean, the decisions I have to make that he just has to go through the motions of, of codifying in a document, I can write those down in the document myself. You're working hard, and yeah. not just for one PI, but you have all these PIs. And so mm-hmm. one thing that makes, I try uh, as much as I can to make sure that Chris has enough time with my proposal, because I know it's not just me, um, and, and these, these due dates tend to align with each other, or maybe there are many PIs uh, submitting to the same, the same solicitation. So part of my role is to give you what you need to do your work, and um, because you are working hard. And you've got a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah, it's a, things it's, are coming together. It's a time thing. And I will say, Adrian, what he does do, he'll let me know at least a month. He gives me a heads up. This is going to be coming so I can put it on my calendar. And he lets me know ahead of time. Oh, I the fact that we have such a open communication. And being new to this department, it helped us build that rapport. Like we were able to work together. I got to know her very well. Because, you know, once you start working on a grant, it goes quickly from emails to phone calls to just give me your cell phone number so we could text each other. Mm-hmm. So we really have <clears throat> collaborated closely, and it's kind of helped us, you know, grow our bond together as, you know, as one of my faculty. One word. Relieved. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can dig that. Everyone's mm-hmm. pleased. Hey. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How's that? Dancy. Happy. Right? <laughs> I love it. What did you write? Proud. Proud. No, I, just, I said finally. finally. <laughs> Communication. Open communication, direct communication. I think open communication is very important. Communication is respect. Mutual respect. 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 Being open, honest. Somebody else, like Yvette, has to be invested in it, and she is. Try to have as much fun with it as possible. Like, it's very serious stuff, and it, you know, jobs depend on it, research depends on it, but if you can have, like, a little bit of jovial fun with it. It takes the stress off of it. It makes it more manageable. It's not her grant. She sees it as, mm-hmm. you know, it's a collaborative grant. And so she really is open to all that, which is great. It's great to work with someone that's so um, invested. The business part is a distraction. And mm-hmm. then you have to do, like, the science part. Yeah. So you just have to do all these different things. So it's good if you could, um, someone else just takes charge and you have confidence in it. I think a theme for the PI should be to appreciate yeah. That there is somebody who is working to for your success, and that in fact that means immediately for, that it's a team success, and just acknowledge, even just acknowledging that I think yes. is a, a would be and is a huge step in building that relationship. Yeah, so.